Good morning, everybody. Actually, it's afternoon. I'm going to show you how to make a uh, fire bed. Um, this is kind of um, similar to the same type of shelter that I made. And all of the um, trees were, were, you know, going a, across parallel. No. To, to, the way to make a fire bed, you just lay sticks down here, starting here, going up, to, you know, to your, your body length and all that. And, you know, what you basically do is, you know, is you, you take a you know, couple sticks. You lay it down, uh, maybe remove these pine needles here because it's going to uh, smoke. Pine needles smoke really bad and it stinks and it creates a white, white, white smoke. But this is basically all you could do. Um, you know, put trees here, bunch of wood. Then um, make a fire, let this stuff burn, and then, then as it burns, this will turn to coals. This whole, this whole section, this whole bed, will be coals. And then um, you know you just let it, you know, basically cook. Let all of this stuff break down, and you take a shovel to actually try to chop up the burnt wood pieces here. You know, so they're small chunks. And once this has been, this whole section has been turned to coals, you would just take all the, um, you know, the dirt here that you dug up. And you'll put it back in this hole, you know, so it so it becomes a flat. And that's basically your fire bed. It does take a while. Um, um, you know, day prairie like one foot, a foot and a half, you know, just so it's deep enough and you don't get burnt. Um, these are very uh, active, but again, these can be dangerous because there's, you know, roots under here, and the coals can catch onto the root, and the root can catch on fire, spreading under, around to the other tree, and of course, it can start a fire, it can kill the uh, tree because it's sensilated. You know, that's just one of the issues about building a fire bed. Um, I kind of recommend this if it's cold. I mean, if it's like winter time, you know, and, it's, and it drops minus 30. I mean, even in the, the negatives, even in the single digits. This is something I would personally do. If it's in the summertime, no us snow. Just build your basic top shelter. You know, something like, you know, here you got one tree branch and you got a bunch of trees lined up and you put these pine needles inside of it. And I'm going to show you how to do that um, here pretty soon. But basically, this is what it is. You know, a bunch of coals, foot, Two feet, I would suggest. Take all this dirt here and just pile it on. Cover it up and it's gonna be hot. I don't know the exact temperature because I never made one and I don't have a temperature gauge to actually see what the temperature is. If you have one, try it. Maybe try it in your backyard, you know, they're not very safe though because they can catch a root and you know you can be some serious stuff man i but i you know i, I kind of recommend these if it's really cold 
winter time. I think that's the best time to actually start a fire bed. But anyways, this is how it is, man. You know, saw to it. It might take like half an hour for everything to get, you know, um, burnt, turned to coals, chop it up so it's in little tiny chunks, and you got all these embers and the coal, and you just bury it. That's basically it. I am Kevin from Solo Survivor Trucker. I hope you're enjoying these videos, and I, I wish you luck, man. I wish you guys a great summer and subscribe to my channel and go to the Facebook page and, and post comments, please. Post comments, man. And if I'm doing something wrong or if you know something I don't know, please share it. Post links. I don't care. This channel is for you. This channel is for everybody. I want everybody to be safe and to survive. This is not about me. It's about you. Um, you know, lots of people get lost in the woods. Uh, just last month here in Colorado, this um, son and dad got lost, and they are presumed dead. They came from out of state, and it was a, 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 a other end of son retreat from out of state, and they got lost in Echo Mountain. And they were going up a peak, I don't know, I think it was like 14,000 feet somewhere in Echo Lake. And they weren't found. And I want to say on this uh, channel that my heart goes out to the dad's family and his friends. And, um, and to the son, his family too. He had a girlfriend. And I just, you know, my heart it goes out to um to her. My heart goes out to all the people that knew him. <music> Loved him, family. And I hope that doesn't happen no more. Man, it's only April, April 25th, and a um, bunch of people will be um, hiking pretty soon in May and June and so on. And I hope nobody gets lost, and if you do get lost, you can find, um, uh, make a shelter, you can find food out here. You know, it's not like a country buffet, but you can find food. Man, always bring enough food. Bring an emergency uh, day pack. Man, I got some tools in my car that I can show you what to bring on a hike. I don't have everything with me. This was more of a camping trip to, to leave town, get away, have some fun. You know, but I do have some stuff here that you can take, and I'll make another video on what to take on a hike. And if you want, just, you know, Google it, Yahoo, Bing it, you know, go on MSN, you know, whatever. Jump on the internet and find out what to take on a backpacking trip, or, or type in backpacking survival. You know, just, just find what you can use. Go on YouTube, there's tons of channels. You can go on my channel and subscribe to some other channels that I have. And, you know, they have a lot of good stuff, a lot of good information. Watch um, survival shows. Cody Lundin, David Canterbury, um, you know, Bear Gorillas. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, he's staying in a Hilton Hotel or like a holiday inn. Okay. I don't know why. That's not me, you know. <laughs> I would not stay in a holiday in, man, if I was making a survival show. You know, but, you know, watch uh, Survivor, man. Watch, you know, Les Stroud. You know, just learn, get books. 
read stuff on the internet, how to find water, shelter, food, how to watch out for animals, what to do if you encounter a bear, a mountain lion, a coyote, a, a snake, a rattlesnake. Just learn. Be educated. Be educated. I'm Kevin, and I'm signing out, man.